Hi, this is Rich Spazano, and welcome back to Digitally Fearless. Today I'm going to teach you how to make water drops. It's pretty simple, so here we go. I did this once in Photoshop, so I thought I'd bring it into Affinity Photo. So we have a green background. You can do any color background. And we will go down here and add a new layer, a blank layer, pixel layer. And then we will take the elliptical marquee tool. And I'll hold shift because I want it to be a perfect circle. And then that's good, just like that. And then the next thing we're going to do is we'll go to the gradient tool. And we will go from top to bottom on an angle. And I actually want the bottom to be white, so I click that and go white. And I want the top to be black, so we go black. If you don't see the palettes on the left side here, you can watch my video, there's 20 tips for Affinity Photo. So now that we have that, we're going to hit Deselect, that's Command or Control D, or you can click up here on top, and Deselect, and, and that's it. So now, now we have a pixel layer with a gradient, and the first thing here we'll do is we'll change the blending mode to overlay. Then we'll go to effects right below. Make sure the layer is selected. Go to effects and go to inner shadow. And inner shadow, we're going to give it an offset and a wide radius. So you decide. I'm thinking that's about right. And I want to keep the angle on almost on the same angle where we, we where we did the gradient, very close doesn't have to be perfect. And now we're going to an outer shadow and we'll do kind of the same thing. We're going to do a little offset and the radius like that maybe. And we'll offset it to the bottom. And that looks pretty good. So now let's give a little reflection. So we'll add another layer on top of that and we'll go once again to the elliptical tool and we'll make a small circle you know what I'll do that I won't do that so I'm going to undo that that's command or control Z what I'd rather do this is even easier is just take take a paintbrush make sure that the color is white and a round paintbrush at about 40 to 50 percent in hardness and what we'll do is we'll just click once like that and if you want to get even more fancy, you can do the same with the eraser and maybe make it a little wider and then maybe click like, oops, no, it's not erasing. Oops, I didn't have the pixel erase. There we go. And maybe click, you can take a look at how much you want to take off. There we go. So let's take these two. I'm holding shift as I select the two layers and do Command or Control G and we're grouping them. And that we're just going to call that Drop. So let's duplicate that Con Command or Control J and move that here. And we can make all different sizes just like that. And we could do it again. Command or Control J, different sizes. And then again, Command or Control J. And this time, what we'll do is we will open up that layer, that group, and touch the actual circle layer, which is the drop, and go to the Liquify Persona, which is just filter Liquify in Photoshop. It's the same idea. And here in the Liquify Persona, I'll choose this one right here. Let me see what the name of it is Liquify Push Forward Tool. And I'll with my left bracket, I'm making the brush smaller. And you can decide what you want it to look like. That's fine with me. And then say apply, and we're back. Now we've got to go back to the group. And now we can move it again. So you can make it any shape you want. Um, if, say, you wanted to be on top of a glass, dripping off of a glass, I'll do it again. I'm going to duplicate this with Command J. Go to the Liquify persona. Oops. See, you can't do liquify unless you 
pick an exact pixel layer. So there we go. Go to Liquify Prasanna. And this time, I'm thinking about it as it's dropping off of a glass. So maybe I'll pull down like that. And maybe the top of the glass would have been like that. And even push down a little bit here because that's the top. And then say Apply. So if you added that to a top of a glass and then had more drops, oh, once again, I have to make sure I hold the group. There we go. If you add that to the top of a, a drinking glass, and then maybe more drops are coming down like this, like that, you know. So that's it. So it's a simple way to make water drops. Once again, it could be on any background. They are see-through no matter what. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please click subscribe. Thank you very much.